Hey everyone, welcome back to a special episode of NFI Hammer to Shade or Not to Shade. So in my previous uh, videos, um, a lot of comments from people saying that I need to apply a shade to them. So uh, check out those videos if you haven't. So this time I thought I'd try a more scientific approach and just try out what it looks like with a shade, what it looks like with a shade and dry brushing, and what it looks like just normally painted. Um, so I've got three of each of these ones here, which I'm going to apply one of each technique to, and then see what they look like. This way I can see, you know, which one is aesthetically pleasing, and also like, is it even possible for a beginner like myself who's only been doing this for less than a month? So what I'm going to do is in the back row, uh, I'm going to apply a shade. So these are the scarab beetles. Um, check out the, the video of assembling and painting these if you haven't seen them already. Um, interestingly, I used a white primer when I was uh, priming these ones, and you can see that the brass is really like shiny on these ones, like they're almost um, kind of cartoony or plasticky. Uh, whereas in the other two types of models, I've used a black primer, and they don't have that kind of shininess effect. So I'm really interested to see how this shade is going to go um, to see if it kind of makes it less plasticky and a bit more realistic and metallic uh, in appearance. Um, I'm being very shaky and delicate here because I'm trying to avoid hitting any of the green um, little blobs because <laughs> if you watch the video, for me doing this. It took me a long time to get those little eyes perfect. I didn't want to kind of put, um, yeah, any shade over it. I should also say that I'm using uh, the Agrax Earth Shade because that came with the recruit set that you can see in the background there. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that I should use Nuln Oil, probably mispronouncing that, um, but I don't have any, so this is the only shade that I have. Um, so this one's kind of got an earthy tone to it, a uh, very brown kind of thing, which hopefully should be okay, but I guess that's the whole point of this uh, video, is to try and see. And I was trying to like mop up some excess, uh, you know, pools of it, but all I was doing was applying more shade, uh, which had the opposite effect of what I was going for here. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to get the little delicate areas around the face, I guess. <laughs> Do scarab beetles have faces? But yeah, the face of the, the models here, just, um... So yeah, the first one took me a little bit longer than, than the others, just getting used to it, I guess. Um, so we'll come back to it later when it's dried. The next one I'm going to do is the uh, Immortals. So I realized my hand was shaking, so I was like, oh, I've got this little salt and pepper shaker thing, so I might as well use that. But the problem with doing these videos is the camera is like right in my way, um, so it actually makes painting them a little bit more difficult, and then with the shaker as well. Um, even though it definitely is stable and, and a lot easier to, to use, um, it does kind of make it a bit awkward trying to film it all at the same time. So here I'm trying to avoid the sigil uh, on the chest because yeah, if you watch those earlier videos, it took me a long time to get the gold paint um, just right for those, and not getting it on the background, and I really didn't want to put some shade over the gold paint because I like the way that it kind of pops out um, and makes it look interesting. What I did notice when I was doing the Immortal um, is that the copper paint on this one, or the brass paint on this one, was already kind of a patchy um, texture, maybe I didn't do enough coats or something, so I didn't think that the shade was really making that big a difference on this one. I was also avoiding the silver shoulder pads and the skull or head of the unit because I feel like that's what makes um, Immortals different from Warriors and I didn't really want to kind of darken that. I didn't mind that it's quite loud and bright because um, I think that kind of is what makes an immortal unit kind of um, stand out. So I'm trying to be very delicate here and avoid the, the the areas I don't want to get paint on, like the weapon. 
And then finally, it's the Necron Warrior. So, um, with this one, because it doesn't have any of that silver, I didn't really worry, but I was worried about putting too much in the eye sockets. Um, cause I feel like I'm pretty happy with the green level from the eye. It's kind of like a Terminator kind of appearance, but green instead of red. And I didn't want, um, the shade to kind of pull into the eyes and make it black and yeah, kind of defeat that green menacing stare from the Gauss weapon and energy. Cause these are soulless little skeleton space warriors. So didn't want their eyes to just look less menacing. And then here my thought process was like, do I want to do the spine or not? Um, so I kind of forgot that I was filming, but I decided in the end that yeah, I would apply it to the spine because the spine did kind of look very silverly, silver and like shiny in it. Yeah, it didn't really have that bat battle hardened kind of approach or aesthetic to it that I was kind of going for. Um, and what I noticed with the shade is any kind of like detail in the model, like little divots or bullet holes and stuff kind of came out a bit stronger, like you could actually see it, especially like in the skull um, and stuff as well, like really kind of highlighted any of those details and the little um, kinks and stuff in the, the spine um, really kind of stood out a little bit more as I was doing this. Um, so let me show you the finished product. So this is what it looks like on the left with the outer shade and on the right with the shade. So I think with the Necron Warrior, um, yeah, you can clearly see the differences, like the metal just kind of has a bit more of a tarnished kind of, I wouldn't say rusted, but battle hardened look to it versus the one on the left that looks very shiny. The Immortal, I really struggled to notice any difference, like, to me, you can kind of see it, it's darker, but it already kind of had a similar textured appearance, um, plus because the head and weapons are the same, it didn't really look that different to me. And then this one I think had the most pronounced effect, so because of the white base paint, um, the Scarab Beetles really look very plasticky on the left here. And I felt like, yeah, they looked kind of like a toy, whereas on the right, they kind of looked like, you know, actual machines. So what I thought to do next is to highlight um, the shaded model and then compare that against the non-highlighted shaded model and just the original uh, models as well. So I put a little bit too much um, paint on my first dry brush, so one of my scarab Beatles is a bit silvery, but essentially here I'm just using Room Fang steel paint and I'm using, um, I basically got all the paint off it I could on the paper towel and then I'm just kind of just running the brush over um, the model just really quickly just trying to get those highlights to kind of pop out. So here on the Scarab one you've got original on the left, um, you've got the shaded one on the middle and then you've got the shaded and the dry brushed on the right and then here on the Necron Immortals you've got the same thing so original shaded and then shaded and dry brush um, again I feel like you can't really see much of what's going on here for the Immortals I don't really feel like it was worth it on this model and then finally we've got the Necron Warriors, so again the same layout, um, the lighting in here wasn't as good, um, but yeah I definitely think you can kind of see the difference between the shaded and non-shaded and then the highlighting just kind of has some of the edges kind of um, standing out a little bit more on the right here. So putting it all together this is what it looked like. Um, definitely interested to hear what people's thoughts are, what they prefer, if there's any tips or anything that I'm doing wrong. Um, yeah, what, what, which one do you prefer? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.